This is Jordan Tower with J2 News. There's not a lot of news going on today, but we're going to report what we got, okay? So make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. So we got Rick Ross talking about the YOLO project with Drake that they were apparently working on 2013, uh, 2012 to 2013. It never materialized. Uh, Rick Ross said, you know, you know, like he usually says, it was just a vibe, man. And, you know, we didn't get to finish this, blah, 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 blah. I think Drake probably backed out at one point or just kind of fell back on it because he knew it probably would be helping Rick Ross more than himself at that point, even though they do make great music together. I think there was a shift in the whole vibe that Rick Ross talks about at one point because, you know, it eventually led to Meek Mill, uh, Dizzy Drake later. And, you know, uh, I don't know. They had like a little man vibe with Drake at one point, even though Drake was a bigger artist. I don't know. I mean, Rick Ross and Drake make great music, though. We, that's undeniable. So uh, I kind of wanted to hear that project, but it seems like every Rick Ross joint project kind of fell through. Even the Birdman project fell through. Uh, and then recently, Rick Ross has been uh, desperate to do a song with Lizzo for some reason. He offered Lizzo free Wingstop if, or so, so something with Wingstop and then he'll do a whole song with her or something. It's like, dude, I don't think anybody's super desperate to do a Rick Ross feature at the moment, even though he's an amazing artist. Uh, it just it just looked really weird. Uh, you know, I might be honest with you. I might be trying to be a hater or anything. I've never heard a Lizzo song anyways. I know she's really popular right now and people are listening to her, but I've never heard a Lizzo track. Like, I've never like went out of my way and listened to Lizzo. But, hey, more power to her for being successful. There's an audience for everybody. It doesn't mean you have to like it, you know? Like, to be honest with you, you know? So, it is what it is. Uh, lastly, Kanye West is enraged that Drake keeps going in on him. He wanted to leave that in the past. You know, Drake had the best comeback, uh, what was it, last year with the Kiki song. It's like, you know, he's talking about Kim Kardashian in that song, and it's just like, you know undeniably driving Kanye West crazy listening to that over and over again. Um, it drove Kanye West to being uh, making Christian music. This is his new gaffle. Uh, Drake had said, I don't know if he's ever going to make secular music again. And Kanye West said, secular music, that means I would do anything for other than God, and I wouldn't. So I don't know what he's talking about. These two have like some really deep, 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 deep issues, uh, probably beyond what we even know, because it's getting a little spooky over there with Drake and Kanye West, I'm going to be honest with you. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next video. News has been a little bit calm this weekend, which is fine. I'm, sitting, I'm not feeling that well anyways, but I appreciate you guys, and I hope you guys are doing great. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.